what is the science behind gossip? Gossip is interesting, and I think gossip gets a bad rap unfairly. We often rail against people for gossiping, and yet there really isn't anything quite as delicious as, as hearing like really good gossip. Now, taking a step back, sort of scientifically, what, what is gossip doing? And gossip is interesting because we think of it as a competitive mm -hmm. event, and it is. So we're gossiping about somebody else, and we're doing something competitive against someone else. And yet, as we're doing that, we're drawing us closer. So it's a more intimate experience for us. We're sharing something, and we become better friends with some other person who's an outgroup foe. Now, that's part of what's happening. So it's binding us together. The second thing that it's happening is we convey ideas about the norms and expectations and standards. Mm. So in an organization, we talk, we start gossiping about somebody else's bad behavior. We're also sharing information about what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. And we're conveying information that I think helps the whole organization function because we're, we're figuring out where the lines are mm. And these are unwritten rules right. that we might not otherwise get. So gossip is, is playing important functions in a couple of ways. And it is, it can be harmful to the person who's being the target of the gossip. But I think we miss out on recognizing the, these other functions that gossip also provides. Now, I'm not wholesaling door, endorsing gossip, but I, I think it's, it's helpful to be mindful of the broader set of things that gossip is doing.